Hi Virgos, this is Magic from Find the Magnificence in You, and this is going to be your monthly overview. You guys are going to get a slightly different format than what I was doing before, just so that I can get these out. I know you guys have been waiting. Alright, so I'm going to use this deck, Psychic Tarot for the Heart, and the um, my Oracle deck, and then I'm going to clarify with the, rec with the traditional Tarot deck. Okay? So I'm just going to do a, some quick shuffling here for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Jupiter, okay? Venus is for um, masculines when they're looking for their wife, potential wife, and then Jupiter is for feminines, looking for their potential husband, okay, or that masculine energy. So we're going to lay out six cards. Okay, Spirit, thank you. <laughs> All right. First row. So it's basically the same six card format, but I'm not going to do the bonus weekly. It just depends. We have caring connections in reverse in this issue. Let's see how fast I can get through this spread. Okay. I got five more signs to do. This is subconscious. <clears throat> Two more, please, for Virgo, Simon Rising. So I feel like there has been a... Ooh, too many cards. Two more cards, please. This one likes, looks like it wants to come out. This Thinking Woman card. Mm. Let's see. I usually already have the cards laid out. Yeah, the world. That makes sense. <laughs> one card. Yeah. So you end up with the uh, as the woman holding a heart she could be emotional though um, bottom of the deck energy is some sort of delay in some sort of new beginning this could be you moving something about relocating moving traveling that those plans will be delayed this could just be a new beginning taking a risk something doesn't get off the ground there's a cancellation in something so if this is a new beginning it doesn't it doesn't come um, take off Okay, so we have in the past energy all tied up in victory in reverse. Um, somebody releases something that wasn't serving them or there was no victory here. Someone's detaching from this. This is someone letting go. Um, this could be a cycle of behaving a certain way. Um, ending a cycle of a particular behavior of emotional pattern, fears, self-doubt. Coming to an end. Let's clarify that a little bit. Give me a card for all tied up, please, Spirit. And with the Victory card, this is um, feeling defeated because you didn't get the hope for outcome that you wanted in the past. And the past can be like yesterday, last week, two years from, you know, two years ago. It just depends on what resonates for you. So it could be distant or recent. We have the page of once. And it's like, uh, you know, some sort of communication comes in or news comes in. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Yeah, it's a missed opportunity. And some some communication comes in and it, it could be you fighting about someone lying or it could just be bad news coming in. You know, not wanting to start something. Something doesn't take off off the ground, like I said. Something just doesn't work out. A false start is what I'm hearing. False start. Okay. What's this current connection? So this is definitely a, a separation, a divorce, a breakup. Um, distance between two people, a rift, an emotional rift between you and your partner. Clarify current connections in reverse for me, please. Clarify current connections in reverse. Ooh, we have the Knight of Cups and the Four of Swords clarifying the world card so we see here that there could have been some sort of um offer or again a message that comes in for an emotional offer but the nights could be a little bit wishy-washy okay oh the sun card in reverse yeah so there's definitely definitely duplicity you're dealing with a lover boy <laughs> uh, a hopeless romantic you know someone that um likes the idea of love but really doesn't want anything serious. 
The Sun card here could be Leo energy, so you could could have been dealing with a Leo, or you could be a cusp, a Leo Virgo cusp. Um, there is some sort of separation being highlighted here. Um, here with the lovers, there was a decision made in regards to a third party situation or waiting on a decision to be made here about giving you more. You you may have requested more, or someone may have promised you more, and you've been waiting on this person and reciprocate if this wasn't a you know verbal promise i feel like you were your expectations were i need more or but i feel like this person lied because of the sun card in reverse or this is just you you know not having clarity on this particular issue again i do feel like with this subconscious energy of the world card something about someone not opening up because this is about opening up and this is about expansion this could be long distance too definitely see long distance relationship for some of you guys Fire energy, I see Gemini too. You could have been dealing with a Scorpio, a Gemini, Gemini, or a Leo. Yeah, see? Again, we see some sort of rift between these two people, the Magician and the Empress. They're both manifestors, so this is very interesting. Why? Ooh. I'm sorry about that, you guys. Yeah, Nine of Swords and the Page of Cups. So there was some sort of message that was exchanged via the internet with this world card, World Wide Web. Because there was some distance, like I said, you guys weren't talking. There was a little bit of distance. You were waiting on this person to contact you. Boom, you get a, you get a message, right? And um, unexpected message here, Page of Cups. Someone says something. Someone says, I miss you. You know, this is that I miss you text. But what's interesting is these two people are reversed. So this is the emotional rift. Um, it could be that this person, this empress, could have been a little bit manipulative. Or someone's feeling like they're not able to manifest some sort of new beginnings. You could be, I mean, I could look at this both ways. Because these are both manifestations cards. These are both, you know, birthing something new. They're both reversed. Gemini energy, Libra Taurian energy for a feminine. Gemini Virgo, this could be you. You could be a, a male. Yeah, someone had wish fulfillment. So you were wishing for this reconciliation. But something wasn't, sat you weren't satisfied with what you were getting. You wanted something more stable. You wanted something more tangible here. This person, you know, contacting you un unexpectedly made you feel a little paranoid here i feel like this message came in but i feel like you kind of went off on this person you may have said something to this person you know spoke your mind but it was very impulsive yeah so then this person retreated and that left you feeling a, a little trapped okay i definitely see that so let's look at this, you know, this wish here because the Nine of Cups is a dis is dissatisfaction. So we know that there is a, a decision to be made or someone's waiting on some sort of decision. Someone feels like someone's not giving to them. They feel like someone's giving to another relationship because we do see there's, you know, this, this Three of Cups here and there's another relationship here. There's an emotional rift. And this is because this person is maybe in a, a committed relationship and that's why they're not giving to you, Virgo. This could be vice versa. You can be in another relationship and you're not giving to this person as much. You both could be in, both could be in other relationships. So it just depends on what, right? Yeah, this is what you are wanting to build a solid foundation. So if you're not in a relationship, but you're dealing with someone that's in a relationship, you're wanting this person to, to invest time, put work into the relationships that you know the relationship that you have with them it is your wish you're wanting to heal the connection clarify this eight of pentacles i feel like this could be someone you work with yeah you're wanting to heal this connection and you're wanting a second chance so you are communicating with this person so you are the one that sent the message this person went off on you virgo you said that i miss you i'm sorry text page of cups and you're telling this person that you want to reconcile. You're telling this person you want a second chance. You're telling this person, I'm sorry, I broke up with whoever I was dealing with. You're telling this person that I'm no longer juggling, but you kind of are still juggling. Um, I do see here that you're one, you're seeing happiness with this person. You can see yourself being with this person. But this person's really not, 
um, they're not responding in the way that you expected them to. They're not, they're kind of being cold towards you. You know, they're, they're resisting you. I feel like it feels like resisting temptation. Maybe you're tempting them or just trying to entice them and trying to lure them in. Not in a negative way, just letting them know how much you love and care about them. And you're being sincere. I really feel like you're being very sincere. But I don't think that this person believes you or trusts you, Virgo. Again, Leo energy, yeah. This person doesn't want to take a risk. This person's afraid. This person doesn't trust you. What's this indecision here? Not future potential. Yeah, so again, fire sign, male. Yeah, this fire sign makes a decision in the future potential. They had to choose between two people, two paths, two directions. They're no longer worrying or stressing out or overthinking this. They've made up their mind. They've chose a path. And someone, this Queen of Cups could be your energy. You're left, yeah, because this is her, this is the same energy. Man, woman holding a heart. You're left feeling hurt by the decision. I broke the deck open, but it's supposed to be like this. Three of Swords, Ten of Wands. There's an ending here. Let's clarify this Queen of Cups, okay? What's this Queen of Cups energy? You may get cut out. We have the Page of Cups, the Devil in Reverse, and the Ten of Pentacles. You find out that they in a relationship. So there's a message coming in, and it's kind of good news. You find out that they're detaching from a committed partner. Okay? A relationship or marriage. Why is the Queen of Cups sad, or why is she in reverse? Five of one, five of Swords. So she gets cut, yeah. So this queen, queen of Cups is being cut out. This could be your energy. It could be an air sign, um, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. What's this woman holding a heart? So someone's left feeling emotional. This could be your energy, like I said. I'll clarify some more. So we have the Three of Pentacles, the Page of Swords, another message. Yeah. Or someone gets cut out. A third party situation is getting cut out here. So whoever gets cut out is left feeling emotional. She's peaceful in the upright in this Oracle deck. She's okay. She's she's understanding her emotions. She's getting through her emotions. But something to do with work. This is a work. For some of you guys, this is a work relationship. Someone speaks the truth. Someone gets cut out. We have the Six of Cups. It's an ending of a, a soulmate relationship. Clarify the Three of Pentacles. What's this Three of Pentacles here, please? Yeah, no, no one's, someone's not giving to this anymore. And we have the Death card. Someone's holding on, not opening up. Or someone's holding on to something else. It could be another relationship. Or their happiness. Yeah, they're not giving. There's the, the death card here. So let me get the overall love energy for the month. I might give you guys the overview. That's too many cards. <laughs> for Virgo, someone rising. I might give you guys the overview. I did see one flipped over. So let me flip that back over. So quick shuffle. So the monthly love overview. Now, as it relates to finances, this is a work situation. Like I said, I keep seeing references to work because this is a general. So someone here in this situation here um, had to let go of some sort of um, hope, some out outcome or some some victory. They didn't get, so you weren't victorious. You are your person. This, this energy could be reversible. Something that you were hoping and wishing and praying for didn't come. You, you didn't get it, basically, okay? You missed an opportunity. And this could be a, for a promotion, a new position, um, because of some sort of a miscommunication or because you didn't communicate something or someone lied. Um, there could have been, this could have been you getting fired or let go because there was some sort of work relationship, which was um, deemed as inappropriate. There could have been some rivalry or jealousy because of this work relationship. Um... There's a superior, so this could have been a relationship with a superior.
there were emails. Yeah, devil. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. There were emails being um, exchanged. And one of your emails were intercepted. And that was used against you. Okay, so that was a foolish, something foolish happened or something was deemed as a foolish decision. You're, you know, with the judgment card, your heart, you're judging yourself because of a decision that was made. There could have been some sort of um, inappropriate behavior, three of cups at work, drinking. You know, someone was doing something that they weren't supposed to do. I feel like you couldn't let go of a relationship and you saw this person flirting at work and that made you mad and there could have been a, some sort of discord, maybe a little bit of argumenting, uh, um, an argument, argumenting, an argument, okay, that led to an argument. Um, but this argument led to you losing your job or the other person losing their job. Yeah, confront, someone got confronted. Um, as it relates to love, because this is the love overview, um, I feel like you're needing to detach and confront your fears detached from this this was a toxic situation and i do see in the outcome that you're detaching someone was juggling you okay this is about you finding balance and this is about you moving on eight of wands okay this month well, let's get you in a career money finance message for the month of october there goes someone rising career finance money Using the Angels of Abundance by Doreen Virtue. All right. You're asked to uh, face your financial fears here. And you need to stay positive, have faith, and be optimistic this month, okay? It says, I'm sorry, visualize your abundance in all forms. I apologize. Um, God gave you such a spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, helpful, positive, and filled with blessings. Okay, you may be imagining the life you want, the career you want, but Spirit is asking you to visualize, use the power of visualization. Also, have the courage to ask and accept help when it's offered to you, okay? And this is also about asking God for help and knowing that you're deserving. Remember your um, September, was it September? There was a reading I did that was called, you need to know that you deserve what's coming. So there is something better coming. You have a windfall of abundance coming towards you, but you're gonna need to release some sort of jealousy that you have again. I did see that there was a, a work rivalry, jealousy, someone's giving attention to others. So you're gonna need to release re um, resentment or jealousy this month as well, okay? Let's do your four week overview and that will be your reading. Please, um. Leave a comment. Let me know how this resonates or if this brings enlightenment or clarity to your situation. Let me know if you are dealing with someone at work or you're dealing with your person is dealing with the work. You know, maybe you have a partner that has a work fling. Let me know how this is resonating. Like I said, um, this could be your energy or your persons of interest energy. I'm going to use the tarot for the overview. And then I, I do four cards for love. So I'm definitely going to use the tarot for four weeks. Four cards for each week, okay? And then I do four cards of the Psychic Tarot for the Heart for each week, okay? Let's just do three quick shuffles. Two more. Hold on, that didn't go in. All right. Please give me four cards for each week for the month of October. I know we already, we're already in the second week. I'm sorry, I'm a little behind. Four cards for each week. All right. Nine of Cups. Okay, there's that dissatisfaction. Nine of Wands, second week. Nine of Wands, third week. And the Four of Swords. Ooh, why are all of these reversed? Fourth week. Okay. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Wands, reverse. Yeah, not feeling your best this, you know, this month. So there's some sort of disappointment when it comes to um something that you thought was going to bring you fulfillment. Um, 
I feel like, you know, this is you seeing something for what it really is. It's almost like you taking off the rose colored glasses and whatever this dream was of yours or whatever this wish was, you're realizing that this particular situation or person wasn't um, as um, fulfilling as you thought it would be. It wasn't the, the results that you thought you were get. You didn't get those results, but that's why the victory was reversed. Remember the first week? This is like, um, be careful for what you wish for type of energy. So you, you get something, but then it's like an empty victory, basically. Second week, we have some sort of um, a loss of enthusiasm, a little bit of pessimism, or you're not wanting to um, take action on something. Okay, this could be someone coming in and out of your life. Could be dealing with a fire sign, because we did see fire come out um, heavy. And... This is like someone coming in your life, you know, and they're very inconsistent. They're very hot and cold. This could be you doing this to someone else. I also feel like with this energy, again, this is like a little bit of bad news, a little bit of um, weird communication between you and someone or the lack of communication. Wands are all about action, what they're passionate for, it's drive. It's courage. I feel like you're lacking a little bit of courage. And we see this with the overall energy with um, the Queen of Wands here. To communicate how you feel about something. Third week, we have the Nine of Wands wanting to give up. That's too many. <laughs> wanting to give up on a situation. I'm feeling tired. I'm wanting to just throw in the towel. And I feel like with this... Um, Nine of one energy, you may be dealing with someone that has a chip on their shoulder. This is you just not letting go of things that happened to you in the past. It's almost like there's a need for some sort of validation here. Um, you're seeking some sort of validation or you're dealing with these patterns of not feeling good enough, not feeling worthy with the Queen of Wands. Again, as the overall energy. Um, and this is like making you have this um, attitude of defeatism. Okay, that will be for the third week. That's too many cards for the third week. And then the overview card for the fourth week is the fourth source. So you're a little bit restless at the end of the month. But this could be you coming out of a period of isolation. This could be you now getting ready to rejoin the world. But for some of you guys, this is just being, you know, not getting enough sleep, overthinking a situation. Um... And just feeling a little bit restless, not finding a res resolution. There's two cards, I'll take them. So let's look at the love overview. We have the overall energy, the lovers here. We have the tower in reverse. So there's some something that, like I said, um, it almost like a, it's like a warning. Maybe you avoided the, the tower, you know, with the rebuild card in reverse. I don't even read this in reverse, so let me fix it. There's a tower moment. Again, there's, you know, something starts doesn't get off the ground ends as soon as it starts it, it's it wasn't meant to happen this was a wish of yours this this is a wish denied the first week again there's something that you're hoping wishing for praying for you really wanted this thing so badly it could, this is a relationship lovers um but your wish was denied the universe steps in and says no this is not this is not this this situation is not um right I mean, it could be because of um, how you were going about trying to get this situation. I feel like there was a little bit of desperation. I feel like there was some hopelessness and helplessness. Feeling like you didn't have, it's like something about last resort. Feeling like you didn't have a choice. Going outside of yourself, doing something that's going against who you are as a person. So there was an ending. And here's the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, not spinning in your favor. And again, this had to do with strengthening a bond or starting something. Let's look at second week. Higher fantasy, overall energy for love. This is about learning your lesson. This is about gaining wisdom after a particular event. Yeah, so we have the star card healing. Um, again, there's a lack of um, willpower here. Enthusiasm, a lack of optimism. So here, you're losing faith. You're, again, this hopelessness energy. Feeling like something will never work out or things never work out. Not wanting to take action. Yeah, see, you're resting. This is the nine of wands energy again. 
resting and reconsidering. You know, you were you're doing the most trying to show this person, trying to get this person's attention. It just whatever you did, it just didn't work. It's just the way you were doing. I don't know what happened between you and this person. That this person, either you or this person was just not, um, that you were too defensive. or I mean, or this person was way too defensive. They blocked you or had their guard up, didn't want to let you in. Because there was something that happened in the past that this person just can't get over. Nine of Wands is like, I'm not getting over the past. I can't let it go. Okay, so finally you have in the third week, someone's letting it go, or letting something go. Third eye chakra, you get clarity, and now you're ready to trust and start something new. You're confronting your fears, and you're like, you know what, I have to let this go. This is not healthy for me, and you're moving on chariot energy, Cancer, Scorpio, uh, we have Aquarius, we have um, all the fixed signs, Scorpio here strong. Sag energy too. I want to do a little bit of clarifying of the trust card. Um, this is the full card, taking some sort of risk, leap of faith, starting over. Maybe you just, you know, this is after the death cycle here. You know, you heal with the star and then you're reborn. Clarify the, the trust card. Yeah, see? Detach justice. So you're detaching. This is karmic justice for you or this is your karma. You learned your lesson. You got karma. And we have decisions and choices. Yeah, daydreams and decisions, rather. Daydreams and decisions. Yeah, you learned your lesson. There was confusion here. You're no longer confused. You made a decision to detach yourself from the situation. Um, fourth week, we have um, four of swords being clarified by choose your battle, seven of wands, setting up boundaries. Also, we have the um, Three of Swords, um, sadness and isolation. Yeah, feeling someone has blocked you, or you had to block someone. The Four of Swords, you're blocked. Someone's not speaking. You're a little in your head, a little restless. Um, feeling isolated here. But I feel like with the Seven of Wands, this is you. It's about perseverance. You know, these two cards, Nine of Wands, Seven of Wands, persevering through the hard times. Yeah. Four of Swords. Yeah, just breathe. So again, the same energy. This is you taking time out to really heal yourself, recuperate. It's being mentioned here again, resting, recuperating. Clarify, just breathe. So this is you taking time out away from relationships to get in touch with your higher self. Um, you're isolating yourself. You're not, you know, you're setting boundaries. You're com you're not communicating with anyone. You're not interested in any re re reconciling. Um, you just want to, because I don't know. I want to kind of clarify this full card because I don't know if that's just someone wanting to come back in. This is full card. What is this full card, please? Saying, hey, let's try again. No. We have the nine and the ten of cups. That's interesting. I feel like you're letting go of a feeling of worth, uh, worth, worthlessness, and you're trying to, you know, go towards your happiness. What would make you happy? We're in here. Here's the ten of pentacles. So you're ending something. Something definitely ends here. So for some of you guys, this is a relationship, uh, a commitment. This is not work. Could be work. Something ends here. Nine and ten of pentacles. Yeah, you're ending something, and it could be a put the job, and you're going towards something that will make you happy. You're ending a relationship, a marriage, going towards something that will make you happy. Clarify, just breathe. Judgment. Yeah, final judgment is being made. And this is a well-deserved reward for you. This is Nine of Pentacles being alone. Um, and then we have the Embrace card, World card. So yeah, you're making a decision, like I said, final decision to completely end um, a situation. Look, Seven of Wands, Eight of Cups, you're not settling. So if someone's trying to come back in and trying to resurrect a relationship, you're saying no. You're standing your ground. 
this person didn't take took you for granted. They this they basically ended a relationship with you almost to get back at you. When you're offering to rebuild this connection with the tower card, I feel like this person left you high and dry, but now this person tries to come back in the end and you're like, no. I tried. I was literally desperate. I was literally begging. And you treated me like shit. And this helped you to transform. And now you know that you are worthy of better. All right? So let's get one more um, message from the Angels of Abundance here. So you're embracing a new beginning, a new life. The judgment card is final judgment here. What is the most important information that Virgo needs to know? Wow, I can't make this shit up. Deserving this. It says, you are a beloved child of God like everyone else. And you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose. Even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are. Wow, I cannot make this up. It says, ask for your needs to be met. So if you do, for the ones that do take this, and this is a well-deserved reward, you are asking this person, because I do see it here, you're guarded, you got your boundaries up, but someone comes back and you're like, hell no. Nah. Don't be coming back here trying to mess up my, uh, disturb my peace. If you do take this person back and you embrace them, you're um, knowing that you deserve better. So you're going to ask for your needs to be met this time, okay? This could be a Scorpio coming back. Um, this is you, Virgo, Nine of Pentacles. Embrace could be um, Sagittarius, Scorpio energy. Okay, yeah, Sagittarius, Sagittarius and I says Sag, Scorpio. So yeah. Someone wants to come back in and work on this relationship with you. Um, they want the four of wands with you. They want to move this forward. So this is positive. This is a positive outcome. This is a positive outcome. We have Sagittarius. Someone wants to reconcile, balance, put the work in this time, work on this connection. Four of wands. They want to have a solid, build a solid foundation with you. And they want to move this forward. So that is beautiful. This could be a completely new person as well. For some of you guys, this could be... The same same person that dissed you first week, they come back around third week, but fourth week I do see there could be some reconciling, or you have to um, this person had to let go of something first, another relationship, because this could be third party for some of you guys, in order for them to be to offer you something stable in the fourth week. Okay, um, so thank you so much. That is your reading. Please let me know if it resonated. If it did, um, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel.